नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग टेक्निक्स कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो वील ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड न्यूरल नेटवर्क फ्रॉम इंट्यूटिव परस्पेक्टिव वील स्टार्ट विथ अ मॉडल विच इज अ पॉलोमेल मॉडल दैट सेपरेट टू क्लासेस दैट आर सेपरेटेड बाय सर्क्यूलर डिसीजन बाउंड्री वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दिस डेटा सेट एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो सीन दैट पॉलोमेल फीचर्स कैन हेल्प अस लर्न द सर्क्यूलर डिसीजन बाउंड्री सो ना वॉट आई हैव डन इज आई हैव एडेड second order polynomial features which are x1 squared x2 squared and x1 x2 and train the model and you can see that we have obtained a circular decision boundary separating two classes you can see that the training and test losses are small and you can also look at the learning curve where the loss is reducing after successive epochs and these are all signs of a well trained classifier and here in addition to that we can also visually see that the classic classification boundary that we have learned is able to separate these two classes now what we'll do is instead of adding these features explicitly we'll make use of neural network and try to learn these features implicitly so we have added a layer with two neurons so new neuron is a basic unit of computation in neural network each neuron has two parts to it it first performs the linear combination of the input followed by nonlinear activation this may sound quite familiar to you when we were studying logistic regression we also used such a unit which was doing linear combination followed by sigmoid activation so each neuron indeed is like a logistic unit but instead of sigmoid activation we can use one of these four activations namely relu which is rectified linear unit hyperbolic tangent sigmoid and linear activation we will we will discuss these activations in detail in our next lecture so here what i have done is we have added a hidden layer so this is a hidden layer with two neurons we can add three neurons i have added one more hidden layer with two neurons and now we have a neural network model and this is called as architecture of the model this architecture accepts input there are two inputs which are two features x1 and x2 then it has got two hidden layers the first hidden layer has three neurons and the second hidden layer has got two neurons and then there is an output layer with a single neuron which defines which basically gives a probability distribution over two classes and this output neuron uses basically sigmoid activation because we are trying to solve a classification problem and all the neurons in the hidden layer we have selected relu as an activation now what we will do is we will try to train this model and see whether we are able to learn the separator you can see that after 300 iterations we are able to learn a separator which is not exactly as smooth as a circle but nevertheless we we are able to find out a separator that separates these two classes and we can see that the test loss and training loss are reasonably lower so what is the difference so here you can see that the second order polynomial features were automatically computed by adding this particular architecture of neural network between input and output so so there are no free lunches and we pay price in terms of more computation because now if you look at it the number of parameters have gone up earlier we were just having five weights and one bias so there were six parameters in all now we have the number of parameters equal to the number of connections so you can count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 this is 14 weights and then we should count the biases 1 2 3 4 5 6 so there are six biases and 14 weights that makes 20 parameters so number of parameters have gone up from 6 to 20 uh, we are going to definitely do more computation and that's the price that we pay for not computing the second order polynomial uh, representation explicitly 
Now we can also try doing it with a single hidden layer and see whether that is sufficient to learn the second order polynomial features. Yes, so second order polynomial features can also be learned with a single hidden layer with three neurons and we can see that the decision boundary learned is again not as smooth as a circular decision boundary but nevertheless we found a separator that separates these two classes and the training and test loss are reasonably small the learning curves also looks like a well-trained classifier so this is the equivalence i wanted to uh, develop between the higher order polynomial features and the neural network models so you know this this particular intuition will help you to understand what exactly neural networks are doing so neural networks are trying to learn the they are, they are trying to learn the representations based on the original representations by performing linear combination followed by nonlinear activation see nonlinear activation is the key in neural network so instead of relu which is a nonlinear activation if you change it to a linear activation and we can try training the model and see what is happening so so you can see that this particular model is not able to learn the decision boundary as we were able to learn earlier with relu activation function so what is happening so the linear combination of the input is is a linear function and when we use the linear activation whatever is a linear combination that is that is sent as it is on this particular layer so again the linear combination of the the linear output is also a linear function and that's why just by using linear activation in the hidden layer doesn't help us to learn the complex decision boundary so the complex decision boundary is learned because of the nonlinear activation so the power of neural network lies in using nonlinear activation apart from the uh, apart from its architecture which is a specific arrangement of neurons and the connections between them and neurons and connections between them help us to learn a complex function mapping input to the output and this complex function is learned by composing simpler functions and in calculating composition on the simpler functions so neural networks can also be thought of breaking down the complex functions into simpler functions and then learning the compositions of the simpler functions so hope this particular demonstration uh, helps you to develop some intuition about what is happening in neural network so neural network neural network basically learns complex representations from the simple inputs or the given inputs and these complex representations are roughly equivalent to some higher order polynomial features